welcome back everyone. I'm out here at COSI checking out the new Doc McStuffins exhibit. And Kelly, we've talked a lot about how excited we were that Doc McStuffins was coming, but who is Doc McStuffins? Great question. So this is one of our traveling exhibitions, Doc McStuffins here. And Doc McStuffins is based off of the Disney Junior award-winning show. And it's all about a girl, a seven-year-old girl named Doc. And she wants to be a doctor just like her mom. And so she spends a lot of her free time um, fixing broken toys and stuffed animals and dolls. And so actually here, kids and their families get to do that right here inside our exhibit. Do you want to take a look? I would love to take a look. All right, let's, fun. let's see what's going on here. So as we come through the doors here, we're coming into the McStuffins Toy Hospital. Ooh. And the whole idea of this exhibit is that there are four different sections with lots of hands-on experiences. So if you want to, you can start over here and we can venture to our left and yes. come into the nursery where here oh. in the nursery, children get to learn about um, routines about babies and how to help them to sleep and wash their baby and feed their baby and all kinds of healthy habits there. Oh, that's perfect. Especially for the new big brothers and big sisters, figure out what's going Absolutely. on. Absolutely. If we venture across the way here into Pet Vet, there are lots of stuffed animals in here that need care. They need groomed and they need bathed. Um, and you can also do an x-ray to learn and see if they are healthy or not. It's very important. If they aren't healthy, of course, kids can venture on over here into the emergency room and operating room where they can actually use a bunch of the tools like stethoscopes and blood pressure cuffs in order to do checkups on those toy animals and dolls right in here. So they can actually take that role of the doctor themselves in here. I love that there are so many tools and so many animals ready to go so people can actually kind of get that hands-on experience. Oh yes, absolutely. So we have lots of hands-on activities as well as that imaginative play, which is perfect for those families with kiddos age two through six. And, yeah. oh. and I love that before you go in the exhibit, you are able to see some local veterinarians featured. Yes. And I also hear that if people time it right, they can actually interact with an animal too. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> So one of the awesome things is that every single day there are live animal encounters by our amazing education team right here in Doc McStuffins. And so you might see some of our animal collection, like we have snakes and chickens and rats. And one of my personal favorites right here is our blue tongued skink. That is so cool. And I, we'll see if he sticks his tongue out again. Oh. But there his there you, is actually blue. <laughs> there you can see how he gets his name of a blue tongued skink. And so one of his cool features is that, so he's actually a reptile. And so much like a snake, they have scales. But if you notice here with two fingers, go ahead and touch him there. Ooh. And unlike a snake, they actually have fused scales. So you can touch either way. Whereas with a snake, you typically touch in one direction from head to tail. That's so interesting. I've heard before, he kind of looks like a, um, a, a ear of corn. <laughs> His he does, coloring. He definitely feels a little bumpy like you'd expect exactly. you know, an ear of corn to feel. So um, one other cool thing about blue tongue skinks here is that, as you said, they have that blue tongue. And in nature, oftentimes, that indicates that they are venomous. Um, so it makes those predators, he is, he is being antsy here today. Hi, bud. Um, it makes those predators want to stay away, um, but he is actually not venomous and he just uses that as a defense mechanism. Um, should a predator in the wild come after him because they aren't afraid of that blue tongue, um, he actually, if they were to clamp onto his tail, he's able to drop that tail. Wow. And um, so able to lose part of that tail and grow it back as well which is pretty cool. One of his neat adaptations here. That's awesome. And is this an animal that people could find in the wild in Ohio or? No, the only place you would see him in Ohio is probably at the zoo and right here at Kosai. Good question. Uh -huh. But in the wild, he would like to eat. He's an omnivore. He eats lots of plants and animals, little insects and things like that as well. But he is an awesome guy. And if you come here to Kosai, if you come into Doc McStuffins, you might be able to see some of our live animals like Apollo. Oh, that's so fun. And especially with holidays coming up, it sounds like there's going to be more opportunities for people to get out and 
check out these new exhibits. Absolutely. So here, um, Doc McStuffins is here through January 3rd. So families will have to make sure to get here by January 3rd here to COSI to be able to see <laughs> Doc in all of its glory. Oh. So, well, thank you so much for showing us around and Absolutely. for bringing out a friend yeah. to hang out with us as well. He is so curious. Like, what is going on right now? <laughs> Come look over here at the camera, bud. And if you're interested in checking out more <laughs> of those exhibits, figuring out what days and times to come and check it out, COSI.org is going to be the place to find that or to watch this interview again. You can head over to our website, NBC4I.com. So thanks, thanks, Kelly. Thanks, Liz.